In this module, we shall discuss an example using a two condition test for the subgroups. Let G be a group and H a non empty subset of G. If A star B is in H, whenever A and B are in H, and uh, that is Cloyer property is satisfied in H and A inverse is in H whenever A is in H that is existence of inverse then H is a subgroup of G uh, this result we have uh, proved in the last module Now we have to see what we have to do to apply the two step subgroup test. We have to consider the following things. Note that H is non empty. And the second thing is that show that H is closed with respect to group operation. Third one is that we have we need to show that H is closed with respect to inverses. Now we are considering an example. Show that 3 Q star is a subgroup of Q star. Here Q star is the are the non-zero rational numbers. First we have to see that whether 3 Q star is non-empty. As you know that in non-zero rational number identity element 1 belongs to Q star and when we multiply 3 by 1 we shall get 3 and uh, it contains the element 3. So uh, we can see that the set 3 Q star is non-empty. The first condition is satisfied for the test. Now we move to the second condition and we have to verify that the Cloyer property holds for every element of 3q star. For every a, b in 3q star, we know that the elements of 3q star can be written in this form a equal to 3i and b equal to 3j where i and j are in q star non-zero rational numbers. Now we multiply these two elements a into b which is equal to 3i into 3j and we can write this in the form 3 within bracket 3ij using associative property and uh, you can see that uh, uh, it belongs to 3q star because it is written in the form of the elements of 3q star. So 3q star is closed under binary operation multiplication. Now we are left with the last condition. We have to verify that the inverse of every element of 3q star exists in 3q star. So we choose an arbitrary element A in 3q star and A can be written as uh, 3J for J belonging to Q star non-zero rational numbers. Now you can see that A inverse equal to J inverse into 3 inverse and uh, it is again an element of 3Q star because we can write it easily in the form of the elements of 3q star. So we have seen that existence of inverse for the elements of 3q star is in 3q star. So we have proved that 3q star is a subgroup of q star by using two condition tests for subgroups.